I got a phone call from a rescuer down in South Texas that said this man had seen a dog um, with its head sticking out of a trash bag. When she got there, he was still lying in the middle of this field in a trash bag. And she called me and she said, Kelly, this dog can't move at all. Literally the only thing that saved him was that he was able to chew through the trash bag to get his head out or he would have suffocated. Even when you've seen everything, seeing a dog that had been tied in a trash bag and thrown away, and not even thrown away in a dumpster, thrown away in the middle of a field. We rushed him to Dallas, we got him here. I carried him off the transport and directly to our vet. Our vet here, Dr. Farr, told me that he had been shot in the neck. My whole focus is always, what is the quality of life gonna be like for the animal? And if it was his back legs or if it was his front legs, we can use wheels, we can use cart, we can do something. Unfortunately, at this point, he couldn't use anything. And I'm thinking, he's not gonna make it. The specialist said, let's see if he has any progress on the meds that we're giving him. And so I started doing physical therapy with him three times a day. On the third day, it was a really pretty day here in Dallas. And so I took him out in my backyard. What are you doing? Huh? Our followers wanted videos. Everybody wanted to see how he was doing, of course. And so I scooted back a little bit to get him in the picture. And when I scooted back, he scooted to me. And I was like, what, what did you just do? What are you capable of? Like, where did this come from? Yesterday you couldn't move at all, and now you're scooting yourself. So my daughter saw it and heard me going, you know, good boy, and again. And uh, he had really taken to my daughter. And I told her, I was like, go this way and call him and let's see if he'll scoot to you too. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and I'm gonna cry thinking about it, he sees my daughter and he decides that he's gonna stand up. And it was like watching a little baby giraffe or a baby deer right after they're born. And he literally stood up and started trying to walk to my daughter. And he walked three or four steps and fell down. And I'm, you know, crying and good boy, Anakin, this is amazing. And, you know, we had gone from three days before thinking he may never walk again, his spine may be so damaged, to him having the determination to, to just do it. Good boy. You're a good boy. I saw the video that Kelly had posted that he had started to walk for the first time and we were also tearing up watching him and just knew we wanted him to be part of our family. When Anakin first came into our home, he could walk, but it just seems like it was difficult for him to keep his balance. They call it knuckling under, where his foot was going into a ball and it was tightening up and those nerves were tightening up. What we hoped was that our dog Moo would want to play with him so much that that would inspire him to run and play. I really think just having a yard and another playmate is what he needed. He has completely recovered. He can run faster than any dog I've ever seen. He is truly a walking miracle. Anakin's personality blossomed as he healed. Anakin, he is a constant reminder on how to be good despite bad things happening to you and that there's still really great times ahead even if something seems horrible at the time. Just a constant reminder for me on how to be as a person.